Aloha and good morning. It's Brandy here coming to you from Hawaii to Japan, my YouTube channel where I am doing videos here in Hawaii in anticipation to going to Japan. <laughs> So today we're gonna do something really fun. We actually have a brand new Asian shopping grocery store opening up here in Pearl City. It's called H Mart. So it's actually Korean, but we're gonna find some Japanese things there too. You know, the interesting thing is in Japan, of course, every market is a Japanese market because we're in Japan, but they do have some international markets that are really popular. Um, I'll get the name of those international markets, but they're usually at shopping centers and those are the ones that they give the free coffee at. So if you're a, a Japan frequent flyer, you'll know which one I'm talking about. It's like the one, what is it called? Kaldi. Kaldi. And you'll always see them at the front of the store serving these little coffees and these little cups. And when you go inside, there'll be a ton of international foods there. As for H Marts, I'm really not sure if there are any H Marts in Japan. And I've never seen a Korean grocery store in Japan, probably because I've never looked for one. I'm sure there are there, but I've never looked for one. But we're in Hawaii right now, and we're gonna go to a grand opening of the Pearl City H Mart right down the hill from where I live and Pearl City is you know kind of a suburb town here on the island of Oahu so an opening of an H Mart is actually kind of an exciting thing and just to give you some background about that shopping center that was the first shopping center that we had here in Pearl City uh, my family are original owners in Pearl City <laughs> actually I got my mom in the car with us <laughs> I didn't even see mom. They can see you in the camera. Say hi. hi. My mom bought in Pearl City in 1965 when the houses were like 25,000. 25, they paid 25,000 for our house originally. Um, I ended up buying in Pearl City myself because I love our community so much. And that was the very first shopping center we had. It was actually originally a holiday mart. So when I grew up in Pearl City, it was called Holiday Mart. And then from Holiday Mart, it became a Daie, which was a Japanese owned company, but it pretty much still looked like Holiday Mart. And then Daie turned into Don Quixote. So Don Quixote now is totally Japanese owned. And during pandemic, actually, there were some rumors that Don Quixote was gonna leave and then it was gonna be turned into a Target. So, you know, I don't know how the community felt about that. Pro City has a big Japanese community, so I know they appreciate having uh, Don Quixote there. Um, I don't know how they felt about Target potentially being there. However, during pandemic, all of that talk stopped and then they actually did this whole revamp of the inside of Don Quixote. So it really is starting to look more and more like the Don Quixote's in Japan. And you know, the Don Quixote's in Japan are wild. So they're starting to look more like it. Anyways, next door, there was a food line. Food line closed down. They've been closed for two years now and now they're opening up in H Mart. So in H Mart, there is gonna be a food court, um, you know, maybe just a couple of food stalls. It's not gonna be huge because it's not like a huge space, but pretty excited to see what kind of food they're gonna have there, fresh food that we can eat right there. And then as always, there are gonna be tons of Korean snacks, uh, probably Korean frozen foods and probably produce too. So today is the grand opening, day one, and uh, we'll see how it is. It's gonna be a brand new store, so let's go. It's a beautiful day. Look at the beautiful blue skies and white clouds. So we're with my hubby. I got my mom in the back, and we also have Kala in the back seat. My mother has come to Japan many times with us. She is a frequent flyer to Japan. We've had so many awesome trips to Japan. We've brought friends and family. You'll see that a lot of our pictures revolve around food because the food in Japan is so good. And you'll see that my mom is always with my Auntie Lillian. Actually, my Auntie Lillian is like my mom's travel partner. My mom has never went to Japan with us without Auntie Lillian. And this last picture here is my husband driving a car. So we're sitting in a car because on our last trip, we didn't even have to catch the train, walk up and down those stairs. We had a car and that was amazing. Okay back to my video so you know we can't go to Japan right now but that's why I have my YouTube channel so if you are liking what you're seeing or if you want more content about Japan or Hawaiians going to Japan then please consider subscribing and today we're going to H Mart the grand opening of H Mart opening up here in Pro City so mom what are you looking forward to in H Mart what are you gonna look for 
and daikon. <laughs> daikon. I She's want to make a little bit kimchi, but I have a big wombok at home. I like cut, cut daikon inside too. Okay, so she has wombok and she wants daikon. So daikon is her version of daikon. <laughs> and she's oh, gonna. What, what, what do you call it? It's called daikon. Oh, but daikon. you know, locals, eh, it's pigeon, <laughs> right? Pigeon daikon. takes every Asian word and turns it into its own word. So she calls him daikon. If you ever call him daikon or your parents ever call him daikon, share that in the comments. We love pigeon. Okay, so you're gonna buy daikon, mom. Kala, is there anything you wanna try to get at the grocery store? Snacks. <laughs> Snacks. And Han, anything you wanna find in? Maybe meat jun. Meat jun. Oh, fresh meat jun. We're talking about oh, food. He's ready to eat. Yeah. It's, it's like morning time. It's no, about. it's 10 o'clock. It's 10 o'clock. Well, it's 9.52. So we should be there in about three minutes. And grand opening is 10 a.m. So we might actually be able to be there for when they open the doors. I'm kind of excited to see the food court um, and just check out I'm stuff, you know. Steak. This is Hawaiian island life, and Hawaiian island life, we actually get excited about stuff like this. Food! I know we know more. You know, I'm so partial to Japan stuff because, hey, you guys know we love Japan. So I was thinking, oh, why didn't it make a, like a Japanese store or like a Nijia or, you know, something more Japanese. But you know what? It's awesome because we love Korea too. And I think more and more Korea is getting popular because of K-pop and K-dramas. And we see them eat all that Ono Korean food. Ooh, I mean, so, so we have a Korean store and then we have a Don Quixote next to it. And my husband is trying to tell me, whoa, whoa. Can you guys see that? Oh my goodness, wait, I can't even. Can you see it? Can you see it? That is wild. There is like a full on line. Oh, for real? I can't even. Like a full on line. Um, I, oh my goodness. Oh, wow. Oh, oh my goodness. Wow, 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 you guys. Like everybody going in right away. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. It's packed. Wow. Okay. We're going to check it out. It's packed over here right now. But well, we're gonna check it out. Okay, so let's just talk a little bit about Pearl City. Pearl City is an old town. It's a long time community. So there are a lot of kupuna here and I am now feeling very excited for them that there is an H Mart here because it looks like there's a ton of community support. I mean, the whole community came out to check out this H Mart grand opening. My husband filled out our forms to get like our free card. There's a free card. What is it called, hon? It's like a Maikai card. You know how we get the Maikai card for Foodland? This is a free H Mart card where you can get gifts and points. And whoa, check this out. grand opening what are you guys looking forward to seeing Kala what do you want to get uh, slushy and uh, snacks snacks he said he wants snacks Macy what do you want whatever I find whatever she finds and JD do ramen. you have ramen yeah and I then just want to get out of the sun okay Okay, we got a mother here wearing a sweatshirt in the hot Hawaii sun. You look very trendy though. I love it. You look cute. Kala, getting tired already? Okay. So we have been in line for about 20 minutes. The line is really long, but it's moving pretty quickly. So we're having a good time because I'm in line with my friends and my husband and the kids. So it's pretty cool. Six. Can we have a cart? Sure.
Overall, very organized. And then a designated customer service area. That's always great to see. Overall, very organized. And now it's time to go to the food court. Oh yeah. So, looks like they're baking something here. Sid! <laughs> Sorry, let you go. Sorry. Oh, how exciting. We have a coffee shop. We have bubble tea. You know, Hawaii people is crazy for bubble tea. Left wing, fried chicken and more. We are now in the food court of H Mart and this is definitely a great break from the madness. It was wild out there, but definitely organized. The store is so pretty because it's brand new, it's so clean. And it was just fun to see everything in the aisles and to see so much Asian products in a pretty big and new grocery store. So right now we're in the food court and the food court has maybe one, two, three, four, five, six little shops. There's a bakery, there is a coffee shop, and then there's two stalls with Korean food. There is not like a yummies or like a Korean barbecue where you can pick your vegetables and then they grill up in the back. I don't know, they chose not to have that here, so it's okay if you want to come here and just grab some stuff. But then, if you also want to get food on the grocery side that's pre-made and just bring it in here and eat it, you can do that as well. Because this area is so nice and it's cool. I know, okay. Well, she got her free stuff. Because we stood in line in the hot sun and we got here on our grand opening, we got free prizes with our orders. Now it was time to pick up our food. So we ordered three dishes and these were the first two dishes that came out. We got the tip and a bibimbap and I'll talk with you about the bibimbap in a little while but the tteokbokki obviously looks so yummy I mean you really can't go wrong with this if you don't know what this is it's like a mixture of kochijan sauce with the mochi the rice mochi and they usually have that fish cake that's the rice mochi right there it's so yummy and then the fish cake is like my favorite very flavorful now you're looking at the fresh bibimbap. So this was a very different idea to me. It was a different type of bibimbap. I think we're just used to like the yummy style bibimbap. This one was all fresh veggies. Actually, it was vegan. There were there was like no animal products and no meat, no egg. It was just literally like a salad on top of rice. Um, so it was very different. I mean, it was definitely, you know, we were happy we tried it. But I probably wouldn't order it again. And I was talking to them actually at the counter about it. And they said that it's very popular with Korean people. So, you know, us local people, you blend localness, you blend local style of eating, you know. It's not always going to be traditional, but it's very pretty. You see it's rice with vegetables and um, yeah. So that was the fresh bibimbap. Now... The next one that you see coming right there is the cooked bibimbap. So, you know, we thought this one was going to be more like what we're used to. The, there's an egg on it. There's some ground beef or ground pork. And then there's some sauteed veggies. But again, none of them were pickled. I think when we're used to eating the bibimbap from like yummies. I know I keep saying that, but that's kind of like how locals know Korean, you know, barbecue. Um <laughs> Or even just regular banchan. It wasn't like pickled. It was just sautéed. So if you want to give it a try, I'd love to know what you think about um, the bibimbap there. Um, but, you know, it was good that we gave it a try. And it was a fun experience for us to try, I guess, maybe more traditional um, Korean food. It looked really pretty. <laughs> Look at that right there. Very healthy. Go, 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 go. go. Oh! 
I cannot believe it. <gasps> Get out of town. Oh my goodness, she just took the chili pepper challenge. What a day that was. What a morning that was. So we got here before opening at 10 a.m. and there were tons of people here. The store side was organized. It was clean. It was nice. It was fully stocked. And then we went over to the food side. So the food side, it was a little different. It wasn't exactly what maybe someone would expect when thinking of a food court. Here in Hawaii, we have tons of food courts. But this is just a Korean shop. So you go into the food court and it's generally gonna be all Korean food. There was no one place that had like yummy style, which local people are very used to that yummy style of like, you know, you can order barbecue chicken, kalbi, and then make a plate, choose your sides. There was nothing like that. It was very um, more, I think, authentic Korean. We enjoyed sitting and relaxing and the lights over there were really nice, kind of soft lights, so relaxing lights. And we sat there for maybe about an hour and a half and just chilled out. We got our H Mart membership cards and we got free gifts and we had a lot of fun. So that was pretty cool. So thank you so much for coming with me on this journey today to the grand opening of H Mart in Pearl City. I'm Brandy and I do videos here at my YouTube channel from Hawaii to Japan. I'm doing videos right now in Hawaii in anticipation of going to Japan. So I'm showing you some Asian things we have here. Things here in Hawaii that we can compare to in Japan. So today was a Korean market. So when I do go to Japan, I will check out to see if they have an H Mart there. They have Korean markets there. If you know of one, drop it in the comments below. If you like this content, please subscribe and like for more. Take care, aloha.